Hey, what's up, guys? This is the new Epson L one four double five A three multifunction printer. So uh, that's gorgeous as it looks. So you get a touch screen here. It's a massive touch screen over here, and uh, so yeah, this is how it looks. So you get an ADF option here on the top. So this is the automatic document feeder over here. So you can scan individually A3 size copies or you can feed it here so that you can scan it all. And this machine is not, you know, like uh, complicated like Canon. Print. So if you get your paper jammed over here, so this is just simple. You just open it from here and then you can remove the jam for scanner. And the same goes for printer also. So it's pretty easy, not as uh, complicated as Canon. So yeah, you get a flap over here and the, and the, you know, the build quality is pretty decent. And these are the true trays which you find at the bottom. So you get an A4 tray at the top, which is an A4 size sheet. So you can go to A3 here on the top. And you get a same size tray at the bottom also. So here you go, you get a tray. Once you load the tray, you get an option like this. So you can select what type of paper you're going to feed here and click OK so that it automatically goes to the computer. And uh, yeah, so this is how it looks at the sides. So you get an USB option here, USB SD card. So what you can do is directly you can scan it to the USB or SD card from the printer. So it has got a lot of options like copy, scan, fax, etc. The copy goes with a lot of options. This is where it gets interesting. See, it's an automatic duplex printer. So that uh, duplex means that you can print the front and the back at the same time. So there you got a lot of options. So this first thing here is the input and the second number here is the output. So what this means is, so you can give a two-sided print as an input and you can get output on the front and back so that goes for the first one second thing is you can just scan the front portion of your input and get it printed on both the sides of your output yeah that's pretty good and this goes for you can give two sides of your input and get it printed only on single side in the output so there are a lot of options here you can customize any type of print you want and uh, there are a lot of options here also you can scan you know two documents and then print it on the same side like two up four up and there's an ID card option also so you can scan both the sides of your ID card at the same time so that you can get it printed at front and back or on the front page itself so there are a lot of customizations here yeah so this is the touchpad which looks like this and yeah so there are a lot of scanning options also so you can scan it directly to your uh, computer or you can directly send an email via the scan or you can scan it directly to your uh, memory device or to the cloud anything so there are a lot of options you can work at and you have a fax option also so this top bar here over here so there you get your Wi-Fi option so this is pretty responsive actually once you connect it to a Wi-Fi you get this signal over here or you can connect it via LAN also the Wi-Fi is pretty responsive and uh, the print quality is really good so yeah, this is how, and obviously it's an ink tank printer, so that you cannot go there, it's a glass here. So that's the ink tank which you have it. So you get four colors of ink tank. It's a document printer, but it gives a good print quality for photos also. So apart from these two loading trays over here, you got a loading tray in the back. See? Yeah. This is where you put in your photos or any glossy paper or whatever the, but it goes only single sheet in the background so just you need to put uh, one sheet at a time and yeah this has a pretty neat flap over here so that you don't get any dust covered inside so that's pretty nice and it has got a back removal option like the same thing for the back so that you can remove your jammed papers easily so this is very simple just open it and you clear the jam and then you close it uh, not so tedious like the Canon printers so this is pretty neat and uh, it gives you good production value so yeah that's it and uh, we'll go for an in-depth review later so this is just an overview thank you